Thailand's parliament will hold another vote for Prime Minister next week. The vote cannot include leader of election winners move forward after rivals derail Peter Lamjaro and Rats bid by blocking his renomination. Now the parliament's move, it sparked protests as post-election crisis deepens two months after his party surprise election triumph over military-backed rivals. Here's a look at that political crisis. Now, popular progressive candidate Peter's attempt to succeed Prayut chan failed this week. Peter's prime ministerial bid was thwarted by military and pro-royalist lawmakers. Remember, Peter won the most seats in the May elections. The Thai parliament refused to grant Peter a second vote to be the kingdom's prime minister. Thailand is no stranger to political unrest and Prayut chan took power in a 2014 coup. Prayut chan office said that the prime minister understood the frustration of Peter's supporters. But the prime minister also imported the public, implored, pardon me, implored the public to move Thailand forward in a democratic way alongside the monarchy. Now, what next for Peter and his party? That is the big question here. Peter was suspended from parliament by the constitutional court. The case pertains to owning shares in a media company. Lawmakers are forbidden from doing so under Thailand's charter, though the television station in question has not broadcast since 2007. Peter's Move Forward party has ridden high on the support of young and urban Thais. Many Thais are frustrated by nearly a decade of army-backed rule, but Thailand's establishment vehemently opposes its agenda. The party has refused to compromise on pledge to revise the kingdom's royal defamation law, which can allow convicted critics of the monarchy to be jailed for up to 15 years. Its reformist platform also poses a threat to family-owned businesses, Monopolies that play an outsized role in the kingdom's economy. Peter has vowed to step aside to make way for another party to form a government now that his attempt at the premiership has failed. The coalition backing him could fall in line behind property tycoon Sreta Tavasin, potentially relegating the move forward party to serve in opposition. The property tycoon's Thai party is seen as a vehicle for Shinawatra political clan. The Shinawatra members include two former prime ministers ousted by the military coups in 2006 and 2014. Now, Wang Suwan, a former army chief, has also been floated as a possible candidate for prime minister or a minister in the Fourth I led government. The 77-year-old served as Prayut chan number two after 2014. Now to understand the crisis in Thailand better, we're now being joined by Titipul Pagdiwani, a political scientist at, at the Thailand University. Thank you, sir, so much for joining us on the show this morning. Now, my first question to you is, Peter, as I mentioned, has been banned and now there will be another vote next week. How do you assess the situation in Thailand at the moment? Yeah, currently, the Peter has been... his. Uh, his job has been suspended by the constitutional court and to some extent it shows how insecure the um, conservative establishment in Thailand are. They have been trying everything to stop uh, and to to prevent Pita from being a prime minister and from and they try to prevent the move forward party to take power to to govern the country. That that is very clear because they are um, Partly, actually, if you look at what happened in the very first world, they tried to use the uh, the proposal to reform Article 112, as you mentioned, as a pretext to to undermine the legitimacy of PETA. And which is actually, if you look at the MOU that was signed by the eight coalition parties, the reform of Article 112 was not in that MOU is is part of the party's agenda to to propose to the house. So it was not the only main thing that the party would want to do. But the party Pita Lily what the party was very famous during this election, partly because of the the policy, the fracture policy to and military cons conscription and to restructure the the allocation of public resources and also to liberalize liquor market that is one of the most powerful business in thailand and to some extent it's now it's largely clear that it's a it's 
it has more to do with the restructuring of the power and under and you know changing the structure of business in Thailand. And so when we look at the future now, it seems like they are. We have so seen the attempt to. From what you just said regarding re restructuring uh, of the political structure over there. Now, the unselected 250 member Senate, which was appointed by the military after the coup in Thailand, uh, does it still hold the reins to the Thai politics and leadership, given what we've just seen? That, that, that is one of the main problems, but they only have this power until 11th of May next year that, that will end. So after the uh, May next year, then um, we will go back to the normal democratic system that you have in most uh, uh, in most country, you know, if the party win most, most seat, then they can just take power in the house. And so that is the thing. So when we look at the future from now on with the vote next week, um, it's rather clear that the conservative establishment is more kind of supportive towards the, the poor Thai and with the condition to exclude move forward party. And so that they are trying to push move forward to the opposition side and then form the new coalition party without move forward. That is one of the very main speculation at the moment. And because it's, it's rather clear that um, the article, the constitution that gave power to the senator was intended to ensure that the coup maker can remain in power at least eight years after the, right. the constitution was implemented. Right. Now, Mr. Bagdavanish, also I want to understand the move forward party, as I mentioned earlier as well. It's majorly followed by youngsters who were in favor of a new regime, of course. With the court's decision on PETA, what kind of a backlash should one expect now? We, I think we, we would see a big protest in the country, but then I don't think we would see the scale that we have seen, we have seen in 2013 and 2014. I don't think that would be the case so easily because the conservatives still have quite a strong control, but then we cannot actually take anything for granted with the future. Um, but it's also not in the interest of the move forward party as well. If there, there is a kind of, um, ongoing protest and to some extent it is very likely that if move forward cannot take power and if there is election because some people are calling for a snap election and this kind of thing if there is a, an election soon in the next few months or year or even if this government stay in full uh for four for, for years terms then in the next election it is very likely that move forward would win big and that they would be able to take power. Right. Thank you for joining in on the broadcast, Mr. Titibol Pakhtivanich, and uh, thank you for sharing all your insights with us. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you.